Hi guys, in this video we will be revising entire biochemistry. This was a much requested video and it was not so easy to make guys. I had, means I tried to read so much in order to consolidate all the important things that can be asked for your exam guys. Hopefully it will help you guys. If you like the video, please do like, comment, share and subscribe. Now let's get started with the video guys. Okay, so see these are some of the few funny cartoons that I took like uh, this is that neurons that fire together wire together. So this information we should fire it in our neuron guys so that we at least remember till the time of exam guys. Okay, so this is important for all the exam as uh, going aspirant guys uh, for need PG, INI, CET or FMG and also it includes notes, mnemonics and one liners guys. Okay, and we should integrate it in, uh, in our DNA at least till the exam guys. Okay. So guys, without waiting, waiting further, let's get started. See, first of all, we'll talk about, see, this is a generalized uh, thing which talks about all the pathway guys. Okay. So we won't uh, go in detail about the pathway guys, but when I provide you the PDF, you can go through this guys. Okay. This is just like entire pathway decoded in one step guys. Okay. So see, first of all, guys, we have the pathway that is glycolysis guys. Okay. So what happens in glycolysis guys? Remember the main thing that glucose is converted into pyruvate guys. Okay when it is converted to pyruvate guys okay and what is the rate limiting enzyme guys that is the phosphoproctokinase guys this is the rate limiting enzyme guys now what happens to the pyruvate guys either pyruvate can get converted into acetyl coenzyme or it can get converted into the lactate guys if it get converted into acetyl coenzyme guys this is known as the link reaction guys and what is the enzyme guys it is pyruvate dehydrogenase guys okay and this acetyl coenzyme okay what happens guys this enters into the tca cycle or the cap cycle which is known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle guys okay and here the further uh, further steps takes place guys okay so what is the what is the rate limiting enzyme of this cycle guys this is isocitrate dehydrogenase guys okay so this is basically now what happened guys the, uh, there is a uh, chance that this pyruvate may form glucose again guys okay so what we need to do there are most of the enzymes are same guys but some of the enzymes get reversed guys which are irreversible step guys see here what happens this pyruvate gets converted into oxaloacetate guys okay oxaloacetate with the help of which enzyme guys pyruvate carboxylase guys and this oxaloic acetate gets converted into phosphoenol pyruvate guys that was one of the steps in glycolysis with the help of enzyme pepsi k pepsi so remember like this Pep phosphoenol pyruvate carboxy kinase guys okay and again you repeat the entire step and you have two different enzymes instead of phosphofructokinase it's fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase and glucose 6 phosphatase now remember like we read about four other enzymes in gluconeogenesis what does the term gluconeogenesis suggest you gluconeo new glucose ka formation that is gluconeogenesis guys and we read about four enzyme guys what were the four enzyme first of all pyruvate was converted into oxaloacetate guys with the help of what enzyme guys pyruvate carboxylase then this oxaloacetate got converted into guys met into the glycolysis well step that was phosphoenol pyruvate so what is the enzyme pepsi k phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase then you repeat the then you go back in the similar direction and then you have two more enzymes guys that were uh, instead of phosphofructokinase guys here we have fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase and to form glucose 6 phosphatase from glucose you have glucose 6 phosphatase guys okay so this was the gluconeogenesis pathway guys similarly you have various purian pathway pyrimidine pathway urea cycle pathway which will go further as we come across guys okay see this tca cycle what is important guys this is known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle or the krebs cycle guys okay this is the central metabolic pathway why because glucose will form pyruvate as we saw in glycolysis that can come here fatty acids can go uh, to uh, go to acetyl coenzyme see this acetyl coenzyme is going into fatty acid metabolism do you see guys and ketogenic amino acid may also be formed guys like leucine and lysine guys okay so ketogenic amino acid may also be formed guys like this now see this acetyl coenzyme can further do many things guys okay so this is the main thing guys so this was the mnemonic which i discussed in one uh, one of my videos of Krebs cycle guys you can watch it okay so basically what is important here guys okay there are three steps guys okay that produces nadh guys so how uh, have i remembered guys i have remembered these are the main steps guys okay so main steps means guys main m is for guys so we have three enzyme guys 
एम एम इज गाइस एम इज गाइस फॉर मैलेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस गाइस ए इज गाइस फॉर अल्फा कीटोग्लूट्रेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस आई इज फॉर आइसोसिट्रेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस एंड एन इज फॉर एन ए डी एच गाइज ओके सो दिस आर द थ्री एंजाइम्स दैट प्रोड्यूसेस एन ए डी एच एंड यू हैव वन एंजाइम दैट प्रोड्यूसेज एफ ए डी एच गाइज दैट इज सक्सिनेट दैट इज दैट इज फ्यूमरेट दैट फ्यूम्स विल कम आउट गाइज ओके सो दिस फ्यूमरेट एंजाइम गाइज इज द वन विच प्रोड्यूसेस एफ ए डी एच टू गाइज ओके so this was important now see other important things that we need to know this citric acid cycle or the krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondria very important must know thing this malonate okay this inhibit the enzyme guys suc uh, succinate dehydrogenase how can you remember mahendra singh dhoni mhd alpha ketoglutarate is non competitively inhibited by arsenide guys okay alpha and arsenide guys and aconitase in it inhibited by non competitive like fluoroacetate how can you remember aconitase and fluoroacetate guys okay so this was the things that you need to know in the krebs cycle guys okay so and you had one uh, sub uh, fads2 wala reaction guys when succinate to fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase guys and one substrate level phosphorylation guys that produce one gtp guys okay so i think this was all about the tca cycle guys now we'll read the important things about the vitamins guys okay so see when we talk about the vitamins guys there are water soluble vitamin and fat soluble remember water soluble the mnemonic is w b c water is b n c okay and fat soluble guys remember a d e k okay so this is about the fat soluble vitamin guys okay see now when you talk about b and uh, vitamin b and vitamin c okay so vitamin c is known as also known as the ascorbic acid everyone knows guys which causes scurvy bleeding gums and other things guys will read in detail see vitamin b complex how the books have classified energy releasing vitamin hematopoietic that helps in formation of blood cells guys and others guys if you talk about the energy releasing that is thymine and what does thymine deficiency cause vitamin b1 think about it guys berry berry there are two types of berry berry wet berry berry and dry berry berry now coming on to riboflavin guys this riboflavin is vitamin b2 okay then niacin that is vitamin b3 how i have remembered thymine thymine in thymine a is coming okay then riboflavin b then niacin c okay then you have biotin and pantothenic acid panch that is vitamin b5 you can even see the names here guys vitamin b1 thymine b2 ribo b3 niacin focus on the letter guys b5 panch that is pantothenic acid that is panch guys okay vitamin b6 6 is x that is pyridoxin xi if you do opposite of 6 guys vitamin b7 that is biotin okay biotin vitamin b9 folic acid that is 9 letter and vitamin b12 guys that is cyanocobalamin so this folic acid and vitamin b12 b9 and b12 is used for hematopoiesis you might you might have read about vitamin b12 deficiency causing megaloblastic anemia so it's not so like uncommon thing that you don't know vitamin b6 is pyridoxin you may also have pyridoxal plp phosphate and other things guys which you read about in various biochemistry reaction guys okay now see fat soluble vitamin what are the important things if you talk about vitamin a guys think vitamin a remember uh, think about what all things do we remember then we'll uh, know what can be add up guys vitamin a vitamin a deficiency causes night blindness we are reading from like childhood guys vitamin a a deficiency it is important for the mucosal barrier guys okay we have been reading this and see uh, so uh, what are the things that is there guys see it causes nyctalopia night blindness ठीक इट इट वाइटामिन ए केमिकल नेम इज रेटिनोलियस गाइज इट इट इज करेक्ट गाइज ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज यूज फॉर एपिथिलियल ट्यूसियो म्यूकोजा एसेंशियल फॉर विजन गाइज एंड बोन एंड थ्री फॉर्मेशन गाइज नाउ थिंक अबाउट वाइटामिन डी वाइटामिन डी लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ अस एडल्ट से सेट इन द सन लाइट टू गेट वाइटामिन डी और बोन्स एंड अदर थिंग गेट स्ट्रॉन्ग गाइज ओके सो सी वाइटामिन डी इज अ एंटी राइट रिकेट्स विटामिन वाई बिकॉज डेफिशियंसी कॉज रिकेट्स इन एड इन्फेंट एंड इन ऑस्ट्रियोमलेशिया इन इन एडल्ट गाइज ओके सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सी दिस टू आर द एम सी क्यू वॉट इज द प्रो वाइटामिन ऑफ डी टू दैट इज गाइज अर्गो दैट इज अर्गोस्टेरॉल एंड प्रो वाइटामिन ऑफ डी थ्री दैट इज सेवन डी हाइड्रो कोलेस्ट्रॉल ओके गाइज सी सो वॉट इज वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ वाइटामिन डी कैल्शियम कैल्शियम ले लो दिस इन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सीरम कैल्शियम लेवल and uh, you need to increase the calcium guys so this will increase the intestinal absorption of calcium guys okay increase the renal tubular reabsorption of calcium guys 
okay and this is essential for no normal bone calcification this is done guys food source ergosterol and 70 hydro cholesterol in egg yolk liver cod liver oil we know they are the source of calcium now guys coming on to vitamin e guys okay so this vitamin e are also known as the tocopherols guys okay so this vitamin e uh, tocopherols uh, guys so this is the most important thing guys it is the antioxidant means it decreases the free radical guys that causes aging guys okay so this is important guys so it will be uh, present in plant oil sunflower seeds and other thing guys okay so see what uh, what does it get it can cause sterility in rats muscular dystrophy now coming on to the vitamin k guys we might have remembered about vitamin k synthesizes the clotting factor what are those clotting factor guys that is two seven nine ten hence it is anti hemorrhagic vitamin and this vitamin k composition is one four naphthoquinone guys okay see so if there is defective there may be defective blood clotting which will lead to hemorrhage liver disease will also cause failure of vitamin k synthesis guys because uh, gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid won't happen guys okay so this is the problem guys this activates the clotting factor 2 7 9 10 and this is produced by the intestinal bacteria okay guys this is important so we uh, talked about this see so basically this is the again the summary guys see what are the important things i'll highlight just uh, read with me once night blindness vitamin in it the composition is retinoids guys and it will cause blooding of vision guys okay and it is important for mucosa guys now vitamin d sunshine vitamin we say guys sit in the sunlight helps to absorb calcium it can cause rickets or osteomalacia and it can cause hypercalcemia if there is excess guys vitamin a also known as the tocopherols guys it helps to maintain immune function guys okay it can cause muscular dystrophy guys okay vitamin k it will help in blood clotting what are the clotting factor guys 2 7 9 and 10 guys and it can cause liver toxicity in children guys okay now see now coming on to the water soluble vitamin guys water soluble what are the vitamins guys that is b and c w b e c those thinking first of all will complete c then we'll go to b and other things right vitamin c okay also known as the ascorbic acid so what is the function of this ascorbic acid it gives the um, healthy so if there is a problem guys that causes scurvy and bleeding gums guys it helps it helps to prevent bruises why because it helps in collagen synthesis guys so if there is a collagen if there is a if there is a breakdown or any injury guys what happens there is a formation of collagen plug or a platelet plug guys so it will help in uh, if there is deficiency of this then it won't won't heal so early guys so citrus fruits lemon is the most important source orange most important source of vitamin c guys now coming on to the b1 remember just revise the names with me. b1 thymine b2 riboflavin b3 niacin b5 pantothenic acid b6 pyridoxin b7 biotin b9 what is guys b9 folate and b12 cobalamine cyanocobalamin okay guys recall with me when i am recalling guys if you recall you will remember guys this is the only technique what i use unless and until you say guys you won't recall it guys so try recalling with me guys when i recall with you okay see vitamin b1 deficiency cause berry berry vitamin b2 riboflavin what happens guys it can cause angular chilitis uh, the terms that we say angular chilitis systematitis the things are caused by vitamin b2 coming on to vitamin b3 you might have remembered the classical triad of 3d what are the 3d guys diarrhea dementia and dermatitis and if it's not treated guys it can lead to death guys this has been discussed in my triads video most important 75 triads that can be asked in your exam guys okay so you can watch that video also now panthothenic acid guys okay so this panthothenic acid if there is a deficiency cause it causes burning gopalan burning foot syndrome so this is important from mcq point of aspect guys so do not miss it out okay guys see now coming on to b6 that is pyridoxin so this pyridoxin guys it causes muscle weakness okay guys now coming on to biotin so this biotin guys this can this uh, actually the important question is avidin in egg destroys the biotin guys okay so this is important uh important from the mcq aspect guys okay now vitamin b9 guys b9 and b12 i said they are hemato hematopoietic so they are uh, responsible for rbc and vitamin b9 you might have heard that uh government has uh uh, government has given 
एलिमेंटल आयरन एंड फॉलिक एसिड टू ऑल द प्रेगनेंट वीमेन गाइज फॉलिक एसिड इवन गवर्नमेंट आस्क टू एड टेक इट प्री कंसेप्शन गाइज बिकॉज दिस प्रमोट्स द न्यूरल ट्यूब डेवलपमेंट गाइज ओके सो इफ देर इज नॉट देर देर मिल बी अनिमिया गाइज वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व अगेन गाइज इफ देर इज नॉट देर अनिमिया गाइज एंड वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व लॉस ऑफ बैलेंस एंड वीकनेस ऑल्सो इट कैन कॉज गाइज स्पाइनल रीजन इट कैन कॉज थ्री सो दिस इज बेसिकली वॉट वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट जस्ट थिंक जस्ट सी वॉट आर द थिंग्स मार्क सी ए रेटिनॉल रेटिनल रेटिनॉइक एसिड थ्री फॉर्म इट कैन कॉज नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस बिटॉर्स स्पॉट गाइज ओके फॉलिकुलर हाइपर कैटोसिस एंड एक्सेस कॉज सूडो ट्यूमर सेरी ब्राइट सो रिमेंबर फॉर एम सी क्यू गाइज नो वाइटामिन बी डी दैट इज अ सनसाइन वाइटामिन द एक्टिव फॉर्म इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डाई हाइड्रोक्सी कॉली कैलिसिफ्रॉल ओके डिफिशियंसी रिकेट्स एंड ऑस्ट्रोमेलाशिया वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट गाइज टॉक्सिसिटी नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइटामिन ई टोकोफेरॉल गाइज ओके सो टोकोफेरॉल वॉट डज इट डू गाइज इट कैन कॉज स्पाइनो सेरेबल अटैक्स या अब थैलमो प्लीज या एक्सोनल डी जनरेशन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द हिमोलाइटिक अनिमिया गाइज ओके एंड वाइटामिन के ब्लीडिंग मैनिफेस्टेशन वाई बिकॉज इट सिंथेसाइज टू सेवन नाइन टेन सो देर मे बी ब्लीडिंग टाइम एंड क्लॉटिंग टाइम एलिवेशन दिस इज फाइन गाइज एंड विटामिन के एक्सेस गाइज कॉज इज हाइपर बिली रूबिन बिकॉज इट विल कॉज हिमोलाइसिस इफ देर इज मोर ऑफ ब्लड गाइज इट कैन क्रॉस द ब्लड ब्रेन बेरियर हिमोलाइसिस वॉट विल हैपन गाइज वैन हिमोग्लोबिन ब्रेक डाउन हिम प्लस ग्लोबिन गाइज एंड हिम कैन फॉर्म बिल बर्ड इन बिली रूबिन गाइज हेल एंड कैन कॉज कनिक्ट्रस इन ब्रेन डेथ गाइज ओके सी बी वन थाइमिन बी वन थाइमिन बेट वेरी वेरी आई सेट दे आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरी वेरी बेट एंड ड्राई ड्राई इज ड्राई एफेक्ट्स द पी एन एस एंड द सी एन एस एंड वेट एफेक्ट्स द कार्डियक फेलियर गाइज ओके सो देर इज अ टर्म नोन एज वर्निक्स इन सेफेलोपैथी गाइज ओके सो वर्निक्स इन सेफेलोपैथी गाइज वॉट हैपन हियर यू हैव निस्टैगमस यू हैव इस्टैग अटैक्स या सो हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर इट वर्निक्स इन सेफेलोपैथी दिस इज ड्यू टू एक्सेस एल्कोहल and when do you consume excess alcohol guys daru that is in goa that is global confusion okay o is for guys ophthalmoplegia and a guys for ataxia okay so this is about uh, the wernicke uh, encephalopathy guys and you have other thing known as wernicke uh, koroskoff syndrome guys okay when along with this feature guys okay you have amnesia that is loss of memory guys and you have psychosis guys okay so this is important guys see now coming on to riboflavin this is a component of fad and fmr flavin adenine dinucleotide and flavin adenine di- mononucleotide guys vitamin b2 deficiency glossitis cheilitis magenta colored tongue and other things guys seborrheic dermatitis now vitamin b3 that was niacin that is nicotinide adenine dinucleotide nicotinide adenine dinucleotide phosphate guys and there is a classical trait of diarrhea dementia and dermatitis and death in advanced case guys now pyrid vitamin b6 that causes peripheral neuropathy that is very important guys here okay peripheral neuropathy is very important thing now see so pantothenic acid it causes burning foot gopal and burning foot syndrome i already talked about this guys folic acid active form is tetrahydrofolic acid guys and folic acid is responsible for what for the uh, rbc maturation it can cause uh, megobla- meg- megaloblastic anemia uh, homocystinemia and neural tube defects in pregnancy so to prevent it god- government has given a uh, free iron and folic acid tablet guys then you have cobalamin so what is the active form that is adenosyl vitamin b12 and it can again cause me- megaloblastic anemia homocystinemia guys and scd what is scd cd that is sub acute combined degeneration of this uh, spinal cord guys okay see now coming on to vitamin c vitamin c causes scurvy so what are the features of scurvy you have perifollicular hemorrhage and it causes scorbutic rosary and where where do you see guys rickettic rosary guys that is seen in rickets guys so this is important guys from the a pits aspect guys okay and toxicity if there is excess of vitamin c it can cause oxalate stone guys see now we'll come to the inborn errors of metabolism guys okay so this is one of the most important topic we need not to go in detail we'll talk about the disorder and what is the enzyme causing that disorder guys okay so this is one of the most important thing see if we talk about the um, uh, disorder so there may be either guys autosomal recessive autosomal dominant x linked or you can have mitochondria see if you talk about the x linked disorder guys okay so there are two things that are must remember guys that is fabrice disease and hunter's disease guys 
this fabris and hunter guys okay these are x-ling guys must remember do not forget it this fabris and hunter favorite hunter is a x-ling okay now see coming on guys to the autosomal recessive so you might have remembered a mnemonic how i remembered all the autosomal recessive is a mnemonic known as the past chawal i don't know how you have remembered but this help me p is for phenyl ketonuria a is for albinism s is for sickle cell anemia s uh, t for thalassemia okay h uh, okay so uh, like this way you can remember guys a for albinism w for wilson disease you can remember guys all the all of this okay and see and then autosomal most of the porphyrias are autosomal dominant i have already talked about in the my porphyria video guys okay now coming on to this disorder that is glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase do you remember guys where did we see this enzyme when we talked about the gluconeogenesis first step glucose 6 for normally in glycolysis glucose gets converted into glucose 6 phosphate but when you talk about this that was glucose 6 phosphate to glucose guys that was glucose 6 phosphatase do you guys remember see if you talk that is glucose 6 phosphatase do you see guys so glucose 6 phosphatase guys okay so uh, that is basically there okay okay so that that is basically glucose 6 phosphatase guys will will carry forward from there okay see if we talk about guys a glucose 6 glucose 6, sorry that was not that is glucose 6 phosphate phosphatase here we have glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase guys okay so basically this enzyme is required on the in the hmp shunt pathway guys he, uh, hexose monophosphate pathway guys okay so this g6 pd deficiency guys what happens it leads to impaired napds production for napds production the most important pathway is the hexose mon uh, monophosphate shunt pathway guys okay so this enzyme deficiency will leads to impaired napds production if any pdh production is low guys this oxide oxidized glutathione will not be converted guys to its reduced form guys and when it accumulates guys okay this causes loss of rbc membrane integrity means rbc can undergo lysis so when does this lysis occur when there is some stress so what are the examples of stress guys when you are under the anti-malarial drugs like primaquine so we say that primaquine is contraindicated in patients with g6 pd deficiency you might have heard this very commonly guys okay if you are on sulfur antibiotics guys and you are on antibiotics like acetanilid okay and you have also this is very favorite question like uh, ingestion of fava beans this this can also trigger this g6 phosphate dehydrogenase which will cause hemolytic anemia guys because rbc integrity is not maintained guys okay see now we'll talk about uh the other other type of disorders guys that we come across guys okay so if we talk about this uh glycosan storage disorder guys okay so it's very easy just guys think how we'll remember guys one uh, one group first is one girl oh and that is one pompase has two p and this pump when you pump to every organ so this affect all organ guys okay now type three three is the third letter that is coris type 4 guys okay if you talk about type 4 guys okay so what happens this 4 can be made into a that is anderson disease guys type 5 5 is m -Wala, that is guys mac adults disease 6 6 means hexa or it can be hers guys that is guys hers disease 7 means guys tories disease 7 is like a t this 7 you can make into a tree guys t okay that is tories disease now coming on to the deficiencies guys okay what what enzymes are uh, problematic guys type 1 that was glucose 6 phosphatase the first enzyme that we talked about guys that i that i confused with last one guys that was glucose 6 phosphatase type 2 guys okay so this pompous disease that is lysosomal 1 for glucosidase type 3 cori c and d type 4 anderson that is a and b anderson is for branching enzyme deficiency type 5 macardal m for macardal m for muscle glycosan phosphorylase type 6 h h for here and h for hepatic phosphorylase hepatic means liver only guys and 7 7 means tree tree what does tree gives you fruits and this fruits has fructose that makes it sweet guys hence that is fructokinase okay now see in which one of the following you uh, see the muscle involvement that is 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 in 2 in 5 and in 7 guys you see the muscle involvement so this is important see type 1 this won't work this is what is important there is presence of doll like feces okay 
this doll like feces is there guys and the, see glucose was not produced guys so there will be hypoglycemia and hepatomegaly cirrhosis and other thing guys okay see this type 5 is in muscles guys okay muscle problem that will cause exercise intolerance guys okay type type 6 guys that is hepatic phosphorylase uh, problem that will cause hepatomegaly and hyperuricemia guys okay so this was all about we need to know about this disorders guys okay see now we'll come uh, to the mucopolysaccharidosis guys okay see when you talk about guys mucopolysaccharidosis the most uh, important thing that we confuse guys is the hurler disease and the hunter disease guys so how do you remember or how i have remembered hurler disease you can see guys you have a l in the name while in hunter there is no l so Hurler is in alpha L idonidase. L idonidase. L, uh, L, uh, L idonidase. Okay, guys. So that is important. And here there is accumulation of dermatin sulfate and hepanin sulfate, guys. Okay. So this, what is accumulated, you don't need to remember because in both dermatin and hepanin sulfate. See, so this was, this is a form known as Hurler. If there is a mild form, that is known as ski. MPS 1H, H and 1S, guys. Okay. And there is no mental retardation because this was the mild form, guys. Okay, so mild form does not. Have enzyme is same, guys. Now think about hunter, guys. Hunter hides somewhere. H I D E. So hunter will hide somewhere. Okay, guys. So no more confusion. If L I L I do uh, I do is that is hunter, and hunter, guys, that is I do donate. Okay, guys. Hunter hides, guys. That is uh, hides. Okay, guys. See. If a hunter is high, hunter should have a good eyesight oil, otherwise he won't be able to see. Hence, guys, there is no corneal clouding. And I said, you may remember, there are two X-linked diseases which you cannot dare to forget, guys. What we do? That were all, all are autosomal recessive except two, which were Fabris and Hunter, guys. And this is the Hunter, guys. So, Hunter, guys, exclusively it affects the male. Why, guys? Because this is the X-linked disease, guys. No more confusion, guys. Okay. x link disease will exclusively affect the male, guys. Okay. Now, coming on to the other ones, guys. That is MPS type 6. That is known as Maratox Lamy syndrome, guys. Okay. So, that is Marau. M-A-R. That is Maril. M-A-R. Do you see, guys? M-A-R. Maril sulfatase B, guys. Okay. And here also, you don't find any mental retardation, guys. Okay. See. Then, for some of the three, guys, uh, you have enzyme therapy. That is used, guys. Not very important, guys. See, all are autosomal recessive except hunter, so exclusively in male, guys. What is the cause for mental retardation? That is, heparin sulfate accumulation is the cause for mental retardation, guys. Okay, see, what is the most common mucopolysaccharidosis? That is, San Filippo. That is, most flipping a coin is most common, guys. Okay, see, then if you have no corneal clouding, guys, hunter cannot have clouding, guys, and San Filippo. The sand fly you can remember you don't have clouding okay guys so this was important about uh, this syndrome guys okay we have uh, discussed everything guys okay now we'll see think about see this uh, this vernicus coroscope syndrome do you think guys we have remember there was a problem with glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase disorder of hmp shunt pathway but guys this is not an inborn error guys we have discussed guys and there is the alteration in the transketolase activity that reduces the affinity with thymine pyrophosphate what happens guys when you drink okay go uh, drink okay so there is an alteration in the thymine levels guys that causes very very guys that was dry and wet very very guys okay so basically these are seen in people who are chronic alcoholic do you see guys what is written and those who are thymine deficient guys okay now coming on to the other other things other carbohydrate metabolism disorder guys if you have a uh, disorder in any of the, this glycolysis all pathway you can have hemolytic anemia see glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase we have already discussed what were the trigger guys fava beans were the trigger sulfur drugs were the trigger and primaquin the most important guys you cannot dare to forget fava beans and primaquin now guys coming on to the pyruvate dehydrogenase where do we see pyruvate dehydrogenase when pyruvate got converted into acetyl coenzyme link reaction wala so uh, if it does not go to that part will go to lactic acid wala pathway guys that will cause lactic acidosis so muscular hypotonia now see you have lactase if you have lactase enzyme deficiency the enzyme that break down lactose 
hereditary lactose intolerance you, you might have heard some of the mother saying my my baby is allergic to milk so what is that that creates allergy that is there is a deficiency of enzyme lactase that break down lactose okay guys now aldolase b guys this causes deficiency causes hereditary fructose intolerance guys okay now fructokinase guys this causes essential fructose urea fructokinase fructose urea okay guys now guys coming on to this this is a very important that is galactosemia that is the deficiency in enzyme galactose 1 phosphate uridyl uridyl transferase guys that is important you have one other thing that is essential pentose urea that is due to xylitol dehydrogenase guys okay now guys coming on to the porphyrias vessel porphyrias have been discussed in too much detail in one of my videos guys you can uh, watch watching that but i'll give a summary or gist of the porphyrias that are much needed to know guys okay so i'll start with the gist guys so that you can revise here also if you want to go in detail guys you can you are most welcome to watch the video guys see first of all acute intermittent porphyria acute a is the first letter so what is the enzyme problem guys that is uroporphyrinose and one synthetase now coming on to congenital erythropoietic porphyria c congenital c third letter that is three that is uroporphyrinose and three cosynthase guys okay and c can be converted into g hence it is also known as gunther's disease in image you will find that in the tree there will be red red colored guys okay now coming on to the porphyria cutinia tarda pct what i have remembered porphyria commonest okay this is the commonest porphyria guys and this is the only porphyria that has d in the name guys hence uroporphyrinose and d carboxylase now coming on to variegate porphyria how i have remembered i have remembered vada pau variegate is vada then pau is the pau is the thing that is and then that is proto porphyrinose and oxidase now coming on to erythropoietic porphyria so er that is erythropoietic that is fer that is ferrochelatase guys okay see then we need to know which are the porphyrias guys that causes cutaneous problem which are the porphyrias that causes neural problem guys okay and which are the porphyrias that causes both problem so what i have done how i remember guys okay when someone talks about the cutaneous problem remember when does it get enhanced so cutaneous problem enhanced c is for congenital erythropoietic porphyria okay uh, p is for porphyria cutanea tarda okay and e is for erythropoietic porphyria guys now coming on guys to the both that is cutaneous and neurovis neurovisceral guys so that is guys if we talk about both guys so uh, so i have remembered varied heritage india is a country of varied heritage so if you have varied heritage guys everything can be seen in that place so it has both the feature so varied is for variegate and heritage is for hereditary coprophyria now coming on to the acute wala guys so you have a wala porphyrias that is a acute intermittent porphyria what was the enzyme guys a first letter then uroporphyrinose and one cosynthase guys and ala dehydratase porphyria guys see now we need to know remember what are the autosomal recessive guys and what are the autosomal dominant see the the one which has both the features guys they will be dominant dono hai ad okay guys now thing now which has the cutaneous problem guys okay so cutaneous problem this porphyria cutanea tarda this is the porphyria commonest guys okay so when you are a common people guys okay so you need to protect yourself from a sheath guys that is autosomal dominant guys remember okay and the one which are not the commonest that is congenital erythropoietic and erythropoietic guys they both are autosomal recessive guys then acute intermittent porphyria guys that is again autosomal dominant guys and ala dehydratase is autosomal recessive guys okay now guys coming on to the glycogen storage disorder which we have already talked just revise it once guys and this type 2 guys okay remember it like it's pumping the heart and it can cause cardio megaly and rest of the other things are already discussed in glycogen storage disorder now is coming on to the categories of enzyme classification guys so basically there are six categories guys so how do you remember guys categories so how i have remember guys i have remember on the hill love is life okay guys this is how i re i remember guys okay so see o is for oxidoreductase t is for transferase h is for hydrolase l is for lyase i is for isomerase and and uh, life is for ligase guys okay you can see life ligase okay guys so this is important guys okay see now coming on to the other important topic that is enzyme inhibition guys 
if we talk about the enzyme inhibition guys okay so we have competitive inhibition and non competitive inhibition okay so what do you mean by competitive inhibition try to think guys competition hai. so if there if if the thing substrate is competing guys okay so that is competitive if you don't compete guys that is non competitive so what is important guys okay the most important thing guys that is non uh, the identify the graph guys when you compete guys you reach higher up guys make sure so have a healthy competition with your friend so that you reach higher why do we give gts it's not about getting demotivated guys but to have a motivation you can achieve more better guys so this is basically a real competition guys we should not we should not be afraid guys okay non competitive okay if you if you are not competitive enough if you don't uh, want to see where you stand guys then nothing nothing can help you 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 think that you are the best but nothing is like best guys okay non competitive how do you remember i remember non competitive that is no change in km so this is how i remember guys see non competitive same km guys means vmax will be different guys see competitive so do ulta guys vmax will be same and km will be different guys i think you remember you this makes it easy guys i think it's very easy now i think you won't confuse between competitive and non competitive anymore guys see now what uh, so they basically this is a difference between competitive and non competitive thing guys when there is competition it will bind at the active site okay guys so see if there is excess of the substrate guys inhibition is relief guys if you give excess of the thing that will go and bind there guys so uh, inhibition is less guys the thing that is inhibiting you but if you are too motivated guys nothing can inhibit you guys so inhibition is relief guys non competitive there is no effect guys competitive guys see non competitive no change in km km unchanged and vmax decrease here what happens here vmax is unchanged guys okay so this was important now see here we have given some of the examples of inhibition guys see okay so you have enzyme known as diisopropyl fluorophosphate guys it inhibits serine protein not much important don't remember guys okay now guys british anti levicide you might have remembered this as a antidote for heavy metals in your forensic fmt guys so this, this is important this cyanide they inhibit the cytochrome oxidase okay guys you can remember no issue fluoride the one enzyme which we talked in the glycolysis wala pathway guys that inhibits the enzyme enolase it removes the magnesium and manganese from the active site guys okay so see there, there is competition guys so competition i said there the, uh, is good guys so there are many of the drugs that act guys because of this competition the pharma that we read guys like i'll give you some of the example guys statins guys you might have read uh, like it as a lipid lowering agent guys okay so what does it it in it the target enzyme is hmg coa reductase guys okay and it decreases the plasma cholesterol hence it is the anti hyperlipidemic you might have seen your family your grandfather or someone taking it guys so it's very common guys allopurinol remember guys what is where is allopurinol used in the treatment of gout what is gout when there is excess accumulation of uric acid and what is the most common site that is first metatarsal of phalangeal joint guys okay it inhibits the enzyme xanthine oxidase guys very very important from the pharma aspect guys methotrexate remember guys methotrexate is the anti cancer drug drug of choice for corio carcinoma guys if you can recall guys okay for corio carcinoma it is the drug of choice guys okay so see methotrexate inhibit dhfr that is dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor then you have captopril and enapril remember guys try to recall guys captopril where you, did you read this it was the anti hypertensive medication and it inhibits the ace inhibitors guys uh, recall guys uh, do comment guys what are the arbs angiotensin receptor blocker do comment let's see do you guys remember or not guys then dicumodol that inhibits the enzyme vitamin k epoxide reductase vitamin k ko inhibit karega means guys that will act as a anticoagulant because it will prevent the bleeding guys okay see so there are some of the exam guys allopurinol we already discussed guys okay so then guys you see di dicumodol we already low vice statin all the statin will act in a similar manner as hmg co reductase then you have inh okay this inh inhibits the plp that is pyridoxal phosphate guys remember i so uh, this tv we have drug hrjd that we say isoniazide rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol h was for isoniazide guys if you can recall guys alpha methyl dopa this inhibit the dopa d carboxylase 
and this is used for myasthenia gravis this is basically used for hypertension in pregnancy this is important guys okay so this is basically the various example of the inhibitors guys okay see now we'll talk about guys the polymerase okay so we have dna polymerase guys and we have rna polymerase guys okay so this is important both dna polymerase and rna polymerase is important guys okay so how do you remember guys see this dna polymerase if we talk about there are five types okay alpha beta gamma delta epsilon okay so i know this is very confusing to remember which is alpha beta delta gamma epsilon okay so what i do how i know guys to try to see if this helps you guys alpha in name what is coming guys p that is it serves as a primer and it initiates the dna synthesis okay now guys coming on guys to the see it is a primer synthesis guys and it helps in repair guys okay now see beta so beta i have remembered is that beta that is beer that is repair okay guys now gamma gamma means ma ma matlab mother that is mitochondrial now now guys we have delta okay so basically delta if you see the delta e means elongate and l means elongate the lagging strand i think no more confusion guys i can, i think it it cannot be made more simpler guys epsilon guys okay epsilon what happens in most of is sun sun most of the case leads guys so sun it elongates the leading strand guys okay so this is important guys okay now guys coming on to the rna polymers there are three types okay a uh, one two three how can you remember it's like rato mujhe to okay so this rato mujhe to guys this is a common thing you might have been uh, listening before the exam mujhe to rat lo mujhe to rat lo like you cannot forget this this is so important guys okay so that is the mnemonic rato mujhe to okay see so if it is uh, most numerous means sabse zyada baar kya bolta hai rato 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 that is most numerous that is uh, uh, rrn guys okay then mujhe mujhe is the uh, it has the five letter guys if you compare this so this is the largest guys and t means teeny naam mein bhi you can see it has only three letter guys that is the smallest guys so this is important guys okay see now coming on guys to the if it see about the replication guys okay so this template stand guys how can you remember template that is it goes from 3 to 5 okay guys so basically you read the template stand from 3 dash to 5 dash but if a new strand is synthesized guys that takes in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction guys okay so this dna polymerase 3 has 3 dash to 5 dash activity guys okay and see guys at this dna polymerase 1 is the one uh, okay uh, it is the only one who has 5 dash to 3 dash activity guys okay and it removes the rna but do you remember alpha wala we said it removes the primer and it is for repair p for primer guys okay now see this is the various rate, rate limiting enzyme that are given here guys okay so we have read some of this uh, so guys try to recall in the end i have put a table like uh, match the following column let's see how much confident you are in matching the column guys okay glycolysis we did it phosphofructokinase tca or the krebs cycle guys what is the main thing there are three enzyme okay guys but what is the main thing guys that is uh, if you think about the three enzyme the main is isocitrate dehydrogenase then you have glycogen synthesis name only suggest glycogen synthetase or okay, synthase then glycosinolysis means you are breaking down the glycogen try to think what the name is suggesting that is glycogen phosphodiesterase fatty acid oxidation okay that is uh, that is carnitine oil palmitoyl oil transferase one okay guys fatty acid synthesis that is acetyl coa carboxylase guys see this is very too confusing guys ketone as body synthesis and cholesterol if it is cholesterol guys that is hmg coa reductase guys don't get confused and synthetase means guys it's a ketone body guys synthesis okay then for purine guys it is prpp okay uh, prpp is uh, prpp gluta glutamyl amido transferase then purine guys it is xanthine oxidase guys or uric acid guys okay now bile acid guys is 7 alpha hydroxylase okay then guys urea cycle it's cps1 guys this is important guys the cps1 that is carbamoyl phosphate synthetase one gluconeogenesis that is formation of new glucose remember guys we talked about four new enzyme that came in the pathway first was guys pyruvate carboxylase then it was pepsi k 
then it was guys fructose 1 6 bis phosphatase do you remember guys and one more enzyme that was glucose 6 phosphatase guys hmp guys it is glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase the deficiency wala which was triggered by fava and other things which we read and porphyrin or him synthesis okay the important is amino levulinic acid synthase ela synthase guys okay so this is the important rate limiting enzyme that we talked about guys okay so see this is basically the um, important metal that we need to know about guys okay if we talk about the mitochondrial sod guys okay superoxide dismutase guys what happened mitochondrial that is mangrenes man you can remember guys okay and if you talk about the cyto uh, cytochrome uh, matlab, cytosomal sod guys that is copper glutathione reductase how do you remember if you are if you are using a glue you are trying to seal something that is selenium then xanthine oxidase guys Xanthine oxidase guys that is xantho xo that can be made to mo that is molybdenum carbonic anhydrase guys that is zinc guys carbonic and zinc it sounds similar guys then glucose 6 phosphatase guys okay so this was in gluconeogenesis that is again magnesium alcohol dehydrogenase is again zinc guys okay carbonic anhydrase is also zinc lipase lipase you know this uh, lipase uh, it combines with calcium chalk wala thing which you have read in your path also guys okay urease how i have remembered u shaped nickel uh, nickel uh, u shaped necklace guys remember okay so you can remember it is remember it easily guys okay then tyrosinase is the copper containing wala enzymes guys okay see now we'll talk about other important things that are in important one-liners or other thing guys that we'll talk about okay so see what do we have guys we have the glute wala things guys we have guys here classification of amino acid and the various things like see first we'll con con sort out the vitamin wala part because we have already done b1 that is thymine that causes thymine pyrophosphate deficiency was coroscope wala thing b2 that is riboflavin do you remember we read about two things that is fad and fmn flavin adenine dinucleotide and mononucleotide b3 niacin you have nad and nadp b5 pantothenic acid remember guys deficiency cause gopalan burning forward syndrome and it cause aco and acp then uh, b6 pyridoxine and pyridoxyl phosphate b7 biotin and biocytin sound similar b9 folic acid and tetrahydrofolic uh, tetrahydrofolate uh, that is simple cobalamin that is methyl cobalamin that makes it so super simple guys okay now we'll read guys this classification of amino acid guys okay see if we talk about the classification of amino acid guys we need to know what are the acidic what are the basic what are the sulfur containing what is the amino acid what are the essential amino acids and what are aliphatic aromatic and hydroxyl hydroxy group containing amino acid guys see if we talk about amino you have only one that is guys uh, proline so important for mcq sulfur containing that is cm cysteine and methionine okay guys then you have acidic side chain in name only is coming acid that is aspartic acid and glutamic acid guys now see now coming on to the basic side chain wala that is remember it's three thing guys histidine arginine lysine always remember together histidine arginine lysine guys try to remember it together guys okay so this is important guys okay see now guys coming to the aromatic hydrocarbon so aromatic three things are important that is phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan Fun, okay guys so this is important guys for aromatic guys and then the remaining one are aliphatic guys valine leucine isoleucine alanine and glynine guys uh, now coming on to the essential amino acid guys okay so the basically this essential amino acid that uh, required for the development guys okay so then the, but our body cannot synthesize it guys so this needs to be taken from diet guys okay so how can you remember pvt that is phenylalanine v for valine t for theorinine then again T I M okay T for tryptophan I for isoleucine okay M for methionine guys okay then you have guys H A L L guys okay that is histidine arginine leucine and lysine P V T Tim Hall guys remember and this makes you sorted for the essential amino acid I think you won't get confused if you remember the mnemonic P V T Tim Hall guys okay so I think this is an easy mnemonic you can remember guys okay now guys coming on to the glute wala thing okay so this is important guys from the mcq aspect this glute wala thing okay so glute basically stands for glucose transporter guys okay so we have basically seven types of glute guys okay so remember that like uh, remember the side guys so how can you remember like simply guys okay so basically remember guys uh the, you, there is a mnemonic that's not made by me I, I also took from google guys so it's not by me guys okay 
Sridhar Nimonik is guys Rani Lakshmi Bai made India proud. Everyone knows her. She made India proud. So how can you use it? One is for RBC and B you can remember guys it's also in brain guys okay remember like this okay then guys L liver guys okay so liver it's there in liver guys then this is in brain that is neuron guys okay this is important M is it's it's an skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and it's adipose tissue guys that is important guys okay then see guys glute five that is in intestine okay and it's also there in in testis if you see in intestine only testis is coming do you see guys testin that is testis okay and six if you see guys that is a pseudogen that is present in wbc and spleen guys and function is not known yet guys and seven if you talk about guys okay this seven guys it is pre present in liver liver endoplasmic reticulum guys okay so basically and it conducts the glucose back out guys okay so in the endoplasmic reticulum guys now see to remember the function guys how can you remember guys see glut one guys okay so basically this is uh, for uptake of glucose okay remember it's like a one day fast guys if you do a one day fast so body needs to uptake glucose guys okay during the fasting glut two guys so glut two is means uptake and release guys there are two things involved glut two uptake and release rapid uptake and so how will you uptake guys okay uh, uptake and release guys uptake will be when you form the from the glucose glycogen is formed guys and release pancreas um, will release okay guys glut three guys okay so glut three is basically guys glucose uptake again guys okay one was for uptake three is for again uptake guys okay now four guys there is insulin stimulated glucose up uptake after meal so this is very important for mcq glut 4 is insulin stimulated glucose uptake guys okay now coming on to the glut 5 guys okay say so glut 5 i said small intestine and testis you know that our testis contains fructose if you might have read your biology properly guys okay so this is important for fructose transport guys okay now coming on to the glute 6 i said pseudogene that function is not known and glute 7 glucose transporter in the endoplasmic reticulum guys okay now sglt that is sodium glucose transporters guys okay so sglt1 is present in both small intestine and the and the kidneys guys uh, okay and sglt2 is present in the kidneys only for glucose and this sglt1 is for both glucose and galactose guys because it's present in both two location okay now see most widely distributed glute guys you can see glute 1 is present in so many entire brain placenta kidney rbc okay rbc you can remember rbc blood if it is there in blood it's the maximum guys okay most abundant in rbc is the glute glute 1 brain and placenta is again the glute 1 is everywhere maximum if you talk about the neurons in the brain guys that is glute 3 okay guys that is important glute 1 and glute 3 both are in the brain i already discussed glute 3 is in neurons but not glute 1 okay guys so this is important in brain this glute 3 is neuronal guys this is important from the mcq aspect guys okay see now now we'll now guys we'll move on to the next one well topic okay uh see if we talk about the next one guys we need to know where is the site of the enzyme reaction taking place guys okay so either it can take place in cytosol either it can take place in mitochondria or it can take place in both if we talk about where if some pathway takes place in both if you want uh if you want uh to take place in 2p uh, you can remember hug when you try to hug someone you re you require two person you cannot hug yourself guys okay h is for him synthesis u is for urea cycle g is for gluconeogenesis don't uh, don't uh, confuse h with hmp shunt pathway guys please H is for him synthesis guys okay uh, now guys coming on to the mitochondria wala and the cytoplasm wala guys okay we'll go first of all see any dps the most important site of production guys is the hmp shunt pathway guys so this is very important guys okay this we have already discussed guys okay now see we have talked about here two pathway anabolic pathway and the catabolic pathway guys first think about what is the difference between anabolism and the catabolism anabolism basically means banna formation catabolism if you think about the name kata katana that is breakdown that is catabolism guys okay so this is the difference between anabolism and the catabolism guys okay banna and katana guys if you think about the names okay see 
एनाबोलिक पाथवे दैट इज फॉर्मिंग समथिंग दैट इज ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ग्लाइकोजन का फॉर्मेशन एच एम पी फैटी एसिड का सिंथेसिस कोलेस्ट्रॉल का सिंथेसिस ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स का सिंथेसिस ग्लाइकोलाइसिस दैट इज ग्लूकोज का ब्रेक डाउन लिंक रिएक्शन में क्या होता है पाइडोवेट ब्रेक्स डाउन टू एसिटाइल को एनजाइम एंड इथ फर्दर इन एंटर्स द टी सी ए साइकिल ग्लाइकोजिनोलाइसिस ग्लाइकोजन का ब्रेक डाउन बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स फैटी एसिड्स का ब्रेक डाउन डोंट कन्फ्यूज ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस द नेम लुक्स लाइक ग्लूकोज का बनना आई नो न्यू ग्लूकोज का बनना गाइज बट वॉट हैपन्स गाइट दिस पाथ वे इज गोइंग इन रिवर्स डायरेक्शन गाइज दैट इज दैट इज अगेन दिस इज अ कैटाबॉलिक कीटोन बॉडी का बनना या यूटिलाइज होना दोनों ही कैटाबॉलिक है गाइज ओके सी नाउ वि टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द पाथ वे अकरिंग इन साइटोप्लाजम गाइज ऑल द एनाबोलिक पाथवे थिंक अबाउट द एनाबोलिक पाथवे गाइज दैट अकर एनाबोलिक में क्या था बनना तो क्या क्या बनेगा गाइज एनाबोलिक में दैट इज ग्लाइको ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस एच एम पी का बनना फैटी एसिड का बनना कोलेस्ट्रॉल का बनना गाइज ओके सो रिमेंबर एंड देर टू कैटाबोलिक पाथवे दैट टेक्स प्लेस गाइज इन साइटोप्लाजम वॉट आर दो टू कैटाबोल दैट इज ग्लाइकोजिनोलाइसिस एंड ग्लाइकोलाइसिस गाइज ओके दिस ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस इन साइटोप्लाजम गाइज रिमेंबर गाइज ओके सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज okay see now basically this are some of the important tables that uh, i have seen like i have collected guys from various books it's not mine okay so credit to the respective editor okay so uh, these are the various tables which i found useful or maybe i thought that it can be helpful for your revision so we'll discuss those tables guys okay see porphyrin if you talk about porphyrin it is important for heme synthesis what was the rate limiting step that is uh, ala D, ala synthase wala here you have enzyme ala dehydratase it requires copper okay guys then electron transport chain cytochrome c oxidase that is copper cycu okay guys then you have phenyl alen uh, phenyl pyruvate to homogentic acid guys that is phenyl pyruvate hydroxylase here you require tyrosine guys okay see then what is important guys then see guys you have you have niacin in the form of nad if you if you remember guys i talked about main enzyme do you remember guys m a i n guys do you remember main enzymes guys this requires nad this alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase requires thymine diphosphate guys okay now see guys okay and this requires riboflavin in the form of fad this also i talked about if you guys remember it guys ओके दिस कार्बोक्सी पेप्टाइड इज रिक्वायरिंग दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट दिस हेक्सोज वाला पाथवे रिक्वायर्स मैग्नीशियम गाइज ओके सी दिस कार्बोक्सीलेशन रिक्वायर्स बायोटीन एंड दिस पाइडोवेट डी कार्बोक्सीलेज रिक्वायर्ड गाइज थाइम इन पायरोफोस्पेड ओके गाइज एंड दिस मिथाइल मेलोनाइन टू सक्सनाइल को एनजाइम है दैट कैन कॉज होमोसिस्टिन रिक्वायर्स वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व गाइज ओके सी दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट कॉपर इज रिक्वायर्ड इन सुपर ऑक्साइड डिसम्यूटेज टाइडोसिनेज Lies a light, I something why why all the things, guys. Calcium, calcium combines. What happens, guys? Right? It combines with fat, lipase and lecithin. Is iron, guys. Cytochrome oxidase, xanthine oxidase, catalase. Okay, guys. Magnesium hexokinase, xenolase, basically glycolysis. All the pathway, guys. Okay. Molybdenum, amo to exo, guys. You can remember like this. Zinc for carbonic anhydrase, alcoholic dehydrogenase, carboxy peptidase, lactate dehydrogenase. Guys, this is the important thing. Now see, if we talk about the function of amino acid, guys, this tyrosine, guys. What happens, guys? Tyrosine it forms thyroid hormone T three T four triiodothyronine and tetraiodothyronine. Okay, epinephrine and not epinephrine, guys. Okay, if further dopa is formed, dopa will form melanin and uh, that can again get metabolized and form a pigment called melanin, guys. This glycine. If you remember the heme pathway, how does it start? Glycine plus succinyl coenzyme. So this we have already discussed in our heme wall pathway. This tryptophan can synthesize a vitamin known as niacin. This is important, guys. Niacin was which one? C is focusing, so it is vitamin B three. This cysteine and methionine sulfur. I said there are two amino acid. Cysteine C M. Cysteine and methionine. This glycine and cysteine helps in the synthesis of bile salts. It's fine, guys. See. histidine changes to histamine on de carboxylation do you remember what is histamine mast cell release histamine you have uh, you might have remembered guys like anything this glycine this game okay see this game is synthesized by glycine arginine and methionine they synthesize creatinine okay you, you might have remembered the mnemonic game and secret guys so creatinine is the kit guys that is synthesized by game glycine arginine and methionine guys okay See this glutathione is synthesized by glutamate, cysteine, and glycine, guys. Okay, then see, guys. Okay, 
uh, then what are the important things then we come on to the vacuum trainer guys okay so this vacuum trainer you might have seen in your postings this vacuum trainer are basically are used to collect sample of blood or for testing something guys okay if we think about the vacuum trainer guys the most common one that that you see what i have personally seen is the purple color one that is edta guys okay so edta is most common for cvc the the normal things that we do and molecular genetic guys if we talk about the uh, means uh, bl light blue wala guys that contains 3.2 to 3.8% sodium citrate guys okay and it is used for coagulation as a green one guys okay so green one is the heparin wala guys and this is used for urea and electrolyte study gray gray is for glucose guys don't get confused and it contains enzyme sodium fluoride that inhibits enolase the last step of the glycolysis pathway guys light yellow guys okay so basically what happens here it is used for blood bank and blood culture and blood bank blood bank we also use the pink color guys but pink color is rarely available like hardly uh, you will see and dark blue is the sodium heparin or edta guys and this is used for two t's dark blue dark color guys that is trace metal and toxicology guys okay now see we have talked about this disorder this is basically a summary of all the inborn error of metabolism in the form of table we have mostly read about almost all the inborn error of metabolism that came across in our path guys von gerg's disease try to recall type 1 glycosan storage disorder that was glucose 6 phosphatase deficiency we have doll like feces and all the h do you remember guys and protuberant was abdomen was protuberant why because most all the h hepatomegaly hypoglycemic hyperlipidemia hyperuricemia do you see guys okay and glucose level fails to rise guys even after the administration of glucagon or epinephrine this is important from the mcq guys okay because it won't convert guys okay now pompous disease that is type 2 that is liposomal alpha glucoside is that has 2p it affects all the organ okay guys hepatomegaly and there is heart failure i said there is hepatomegaly and heart failure guys okay due to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy guys now guys coming on to the fish order guys how will you remember the fish order is known as trimethylmenuria fish in hindi what do we say fish mean that is muchly okay guys so basically this causes fishy order from sweat uh, sweat and other things guys okay now see essential fructose urea if you remember essential fructose urea that was fructokinase guys okay so basically there is increased fructose in blood and increased fructose in urine guys so if there is fructose more then benedict test will be positive guys this is uh, important hereditary fructose intolerance there is a deficiency of aldolase b guys okay so again the fructose will increase both the places guys but there will be accumulation of fructose guys so that will cause hypophosphatemia hypoglycemia and vomiting Rem uh, think about galactosemia guys okay so galactosemia we have three things that can be deficient galactokinase epimerase and galactose 1 and phosphate uridyl this is the most common so i said that time about this one guys galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase treatment gal galactose and lactose free dyes guys and glucagon is not effective to collect hypoglycemia like their blood glucose did not improve even after glucagon and epinephrine same way guys here this so this is important from mcq see what happened guys if there is increased uh, galactitol via the sorbitol polyol pathway guys there will be premature cataract guys and there is increase in galactose in the urine guys galactose is the disaccharide not the monosaccharide guys and most of the monosaccharide all the monosaccharides are reducing sugar positive so you have a false positive benedict test guys epimerase wallet deficiency is the mildest one guys okay so see if there is accumulation of galactose guys it will cause mental retardation hepatotoxicity hepatomegaly lactase deficiency that my my baby is intolerant to milk okay uh, develop on indig indigestion of milk there will be watery diarrhea and abdominal care now coming on to the cysteine urea guys so there will be recurrent kidney stone so there is increased excretion of so uh, of uh, cola what is cola guys cysteine ornithine lysine and arginine guys so what is the treatment guys basically you need to alkalinize the urine and use depensilamine so you have refusums disease guys okay so this refusums disease guys if you have seen my ophthal video i talked about there about the refusum disease guys okay so this refusum disease guys there is a deficiency of phytin oil coa hydroxylase guys okay so there is accumulation of phytinic acid in brain that causes neurodegeneration guys so this we read about in retinitis pigmentosa if you remember guys 
देन यू हैव टायरोसिनीमिया दैट इज डेफिशियंसी ऑफ फ्यूमराइल एसिटोएसिटेड हाइड्रोक्सीज गाइज सो हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर टायरोसिनीमिया वॉट इज द ऑर्डर दैट इज बॉइल्ड कैबेज और रोटेन ऑर्डर गाइज ओके सो हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर गाइज सी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज नीटिस नॉन ओके गाइज एंड ट्रीटमेंट इज डाइट लो इन पी एम टी फिनाइल एलान इन मिथोनिन एंड टायरोसिन गाइज ओके सो दिस टायरोसिनीमिया इज बॉइल्ड कैबेज गाइज ओके सो बेसिकली रिमेंबर दिस गाइज देन यू हैव मल्टीपल कार बॉक्सलेस सो हाउ कैन यू रिमेंबर गाइज दैट इज टॉम कैट मल्टीपल कार बॉक्सलेस इज द टॉम कैट एम सी ए टी मल्टीपल कार बॉक्सलेस गाइज ओके एंड देर इज नॉर्मल एन एस थ्री दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस बायोटिन एक्ट एज अ को फैक्टर फॉर कार बॉक्सलेस सो ट्रीटमेंट विल बी बायोटिन देन गाइज यू हैव एल्बिनिजम एल्बिनिजम इज वॉट बेसिकली बेसिकली द व्हाइट कलर हेयर गाइज सो देर इज डेफिशियंसी ऑफ टायरोसिन enzyme guys okay so there is hypopigmentation of both skin and hair guys okay and there are two syndromes that are associated one is the brad warden work syndrome and one is the chidiaki gassi syndrome guys okay see now coming on to the other inborn errors of metabolism that is least nian syndrome guys in least nian syndrome what happened there is a problem in hgprt that is hypoxanthin guanine phosphosyl ribosyl transferase guys so what is important there is a self mutilating you try to harm yourself guys there is hyperuricemia got and mental retardation guys so this is important guys and it is a excellent recessive disorder guys okay then you have scid if you remember guys severe combined immunodeficiency disorder you might have remember the first statement was given to a 4 year old girl guys and the deficiency of enzyme is the adenosine dr minus guys okay so basically there is a defect in immunity guys both b cells and t cells are affected guys okay now guys is the maple syrup urine this is you have think uh, so here you order yeah, order what do you see you see burnt odor guys okay smell to burnt sugar guys you have burnt the sugar what uh, it will smell guys and this is due to branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase this is important guys okay and branch chain so what are the branch chain amino acid that is leucine isoleucine and valine guys and this fecl3 will give guys blue color guys okay now essential pentose urea if we have, we have talked guys that is xylulose reductase guys okay now phenyl ketone urea guys okay so what is important in phenyl ketone urea what is the enzyme deficiency that is phenyl alanine hydroxylase guys okay so phenyl alanine hydroxylase will convert allow to convert phenyl alanine to tyrosine guys okay so see child is normal at birth mental retardation in childhood what is important you have a musty odor guys very very important from the mcq guys and there is blonde hair guys why because tyrosine is required for melanin synthesis guys so how will you screen it guys it there is very important that is guthrie test guys okay uh, and fecl3 wala guys okay so this is important guys okay now see alkaptonuria how i alkap that is kala that urine turns black on standing that is due to homozantisic acid deficiency guys so what happened guys this get accumulated leading to uchronotic arthritis uchronotic pigmentation in the eyes treatment vitamin c okay now coming on to the hartnup's disease guys so there is a problem with the tryptophan in height now there is a defective trans transport of tryptophan so tryptophan uh, synthesis what niacin so treatment is nicolsmide and niacin now coming on to the homocysteinuria guys so homocysteinuria is a problem with the cystathione beta synthetase okay guys so basically what will happen guys it will cause mental retardation and it will interfere with collagen cross linking guys okay so if you remember homocysteinuria there was infranasal dislocation do you remember guys and superotemporal was marfan syndrome guys okay if you remember it guys okay see now guys coming on to the apolipoprotein guys so basically where we have many hypercholesterol uh, cholesteremia okay guys so we need to know about some of the hypercholesteremia and which one is important for what like what uh, which one apo c is what apo a1 is what c if we talk about the guys vldl guys theek okay? hai so uh, uh, like this i have tried to remember in the form of a story guys otherwise it's bit confusing guys okay so first of all how i have remembered Um, VLDL that is very low density lipoprotein. I mean, these people are the lowest in the society. So what happened, guys? People will try to help them. That is remember below economy. That is B hundred and E and C. That is apo C and apo E, guys. Now, guys, coming on to the HDL high density. These people are enjoying a good status height. So enjoy in A C. That is apo E and A. And see that is first class AC. You can see first AC enjoy. Okay, apo A one C any. 
now guys is coming on to the intermediate people guys okay so this intermediate people guys okay so uh, this inter this intermediate people is also guys like below economy only guys okay so b100 and ec guys then coming on to the low density guys okay you know the biggest problem is the person who is like at the like not who is just earning he cannot beg also in front of someone guys and he cannot give also someone so this low density very low people will help him guys but low no one help guys that is uh, he's just below 100 guys okay so b100 is there with him guys okay so so this was about uh, this now see apo b100 guys this is a ligand for ldl receptor guys okay apo b100 guys okay now see apo a1 uh, a1 means ac1 guys it is the structural protein of high density high people will have first class ac guys then apo c2 guys this is the activator of guys lipos uh, this is the activator of lipoprotein lipase guys okay now see we need to remember guys uh, about this hypercholesteremia guys okay so see type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 guys okay so this type 1 guys it is known as guys hyper hyper chylomicronemia hyper chylomicron why the name chylomicron because chylomicrons are elevated if you see guys okay so how can you remember type 1 1 in hindi word you know pehla pehla is guys lpl that is lipo that is lpl is guys what it's guys lipoprotein lipase guys okay so lpl is lipoprotein lipase okay and what is the lipoprotein lipase which was receptor was that it was apo c2 so see if you do 3 minus 2 guys what does come first only guys so that is pehla wala now guys coming on to the second wala second is dusra dusra is ldl guys if you think of okay so it's ldl i said low people no one helps guys so what was a low is just with 100 rupees that is apo b 100 if you see guys ldl receptor or apo b 100 guys now guys coming on to the third one guys okay if you if you see three is written it can be made into e guys do you find it so there will be apo e deficiency guys okay now guys coming on to the fourth one guys okay so fourth one is the fourth letter char letter wala v l d l ka over production guys okay see now what we need to know guys uh, if we talk about the first one that was known as hyperchylomicronemia type 2 guys that is hypercholesteremia okay then type 3 guys that is this beta lipoproteinemia and type 4 is guys hypertriglycidemia vldl bad jata hai ab think kis mein kis mein pancreatitis ho raha hai guys pancreatitis if you write pancreatitis panch panchwa wala p se panch a matlab pehla wala guys that is in first and five guys you see pancreatitis but no atherosclerosis remaining every place you will see atherosclerosis guys i think this sorts out hyperlipoproteinemia for you guys okay see now uh these are basically some of the like one liners guys i think we have read many things we'll see vitamin a retinol d colic ulcer for all e taco for all do you revise guys see this is all the vitamin i think you can revise i think everything is covered guys okay hmp shunt produces napdh As sickle cell you have a point mutation uh, what is the point mutation guys at the instead of gag you have the gook that is glutamic acid guys okay is replaced by valine okay at the beta chain of the sixth amino acid guys i think this is this is easy guys codon is three pairs guys okay and you have three stop codon if you guys can recall for me what are the three stop codon guys uaa uag and uga what are this this are okre amber and opal guys i think if you can recall okay guys so see and you have a 21st amino acid discovered that is known as salinocysteine guys see mousy musty odor is seen in phenyl ketonuria already discussed guys in starvation guys there is an increase in pyruvate kinase guys okay so in starvation try to think guys what happens starvation means tum bhooke ho you need food guys okay you need glucose guys okay so basically you need to produce the glucose guys okay so basically there is an increase in pyruvate kinase i'll discuss about feed and fat cycle further on in the in the um, uh, upcoming it means in this video only vitamin necessary for post translational modification i said na uh, post carboxylation of gamma glutamyl residue that was vitamin k okay guys so this is important decarboxylation requires vitamin b6 pyridoxine powerhouse of the cell is the mitochondria protein synthesis is in the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum hemorrhagic disease of newborn guys okay so what i said problem with vitamin k 2 7 9 10 clotting factor 
okay then you have acrodermatitis enteropathica that is due to zinc deficiency and what is the mutation guys slc39a4 guys molybdenum mo and exoxanthin oxidase heart numb disease was due to guys tryptophan hard uh, tryptophan okay alkaptonuria kala urine turns black homocentric acid oxidase okay deposition of homocysteine न्यूरोलॉजिकल सिम्टम कौन सा करेक्ट होगा दैट वॉज सब अक्यूट कंबाइंड डी जनरेशन ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड जो कॉज कर रहा था डैट वॉज वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व का देर वर्निक्स क्रोस्को फाइपोथेसिस वाइटामिन बी वन थे ऑलरेडी डिस्कस पहले ग्रा थ्री डिस डायरिया डिमेंशिया डेमेटाइटिस बर्निंग फूड गोपालन सिंड्रोम वॉज कॉज बाई पैंटोथेनिक एसिड वाइटामिन बी फाइव मेगालो प्लास्टिक एनिमिया ड्यू टू फॉलिक एसिड वाइटामिन बी नाइन ओके पर्निशियस एनिमिया ड्यू टू वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व का Seborrheic dermatitis was due to uh, vitamin B2. It can also cause angular cheilitis, stomatitis. Ischemic heart disease associated with which type of low density cholesterol? Low means it's a bad bad cholesterol, guys. Seen in chronic starvation, guys. Insulin decreases and glucagon and growth hormone uh, increases. Okay, guys. Insulin why insulin will decrease? Because what happens, guys? Insulin converts excess glucose to glycogen. You are already starving, guys. You don't have glucose. How can you convert it, guys? So that's not possible. So now coming on to the blood, guys. Okay. So this is important. South, what do people eat, guys? Dosa. That is D N A. North people prefer roti. Okay, guys. West people prefer pizza. That is protein. Okay, guys. So this is important. Okay. Now, guys, coming on to the respiratory distress. So respiratory distress, you know, like uh, if the child is premature, uh, surfactant comes in the lungs at around thirty-four weeks. So what is the composition of surfactant, guys? That is dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine, guys. So if there is less, that is known as respiratory distress syndrome. But vitamin uh, used for inhibiting lactation, that is vitamin B six. Vernix encephalopathy B1 thiamine we already discussed two seven nine ten clotin factor for vitamin K Marfan syndrome what is the problem guys lysyl lysyl oxidase is problem and what is the gene mutation guys FBN eleven present at chromosome fifteen guys okay reaction taking place in the mitochondria guys perhaps cycle ATC most of the major reaction guys melatonin which is secreted by the pineal gland that uh, maintains the sleep wake cycle guys tryptophan guys. ओके अमीनो एसिड एक्सक्रीटेड इन द यूरिन इन सिस्टीनोसिस रिमेंबर गाइस सी ओ एल ए सिस्टीन और नथिन लाइजिन आर्जिनिन गाइस मैपल सिरप यूनिन यू हैव वी आई एल गाइस ओके एल आई वी ल्यूसिन आइसोल्यूसिन एंड वैलिन सल्फर कंटेनिंग सी एम सिस्टीन एंड मिथियोनिन कॉन्जुगेटेड हाइपरबिलियर में रिमेंबर डॉक्टर्स आर कॉन्जुगेटेड डोबिन जॉनसन एंड रोटर सिंड्रोम इन हार्टनप डिजीज ओके यू हैव ट्रिप्टोफॉन गाइस बाइल कंटेंट्स गाइस कोलिक एसिड डिओक्सिकोलिक एसिड एंड लिथोकोलिक एसिड गाइस को फैक्टर फॉर ट्रांसमिनेशन इज पायरिडॉक्सिन ओके गाइस सो पायरिडॉक्सिन इज विटामिन बी सिक्स फिनाइल पायरोविक एसिड दैट वाज फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया इज डिटेक्टेड बाय गुथरिस्ट एज दैट सिंपल गाइस एल्केप्टोनो यूरिया यूरिन विल कंटेन होमोसेंटेसिक एसिड गाइस ओके दिस इज सिंपल इंसुलिन हैज 51 अमाइनो एसिड गाइस दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय बेंटिंग एंड बेस्ट गाइस ओके Von Gerg's that is type one guys that is due to glu uh, Von Gerg is due to no guys this is wrong sorry that is due to glucose six phosphatase guys sorry this is given wrong answer guys glucose six phosphatase essential fatty acids guys are the linoleic lin uh, lin linoleic linolenic and arachidonic acid guys iron is absorbed from duodenum remember id okay guys vitamin b12 b12 is from terminum ileum il remember it like this cardiac enzyme are cpk ldh and sgot guys not not difficult guys to remember okay see now guys what is important guys see uh melatonin is derived from tryptophan pineal gland wala we already discussed guys bile acids are cholesterol guys we already discussed okay now see anti infective vitamin i said this is a mucosal vitamin wala that is vitamin a1 okay guys most common enzyme deficiencies man man is the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase guys okay now see prostaglandins are largest amount in seminal fluid guys okay now see a uh, coenzyme a ke andar kya hota hai pantothenic acid this is important guys albinism tyrosine we remember okay now see polyuria and diabetes mellitus everyone knows guys okay now see Now what acidic amino acid I said aspartic acid glutamic acid in name only acid can basic histidine arginine is histidine is not so basic guys aromatic three things phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan guys vitamin C is present in the largest amount of body in adrenal cortex guys okay 
tectony tectony means decreased amount of calcium seen in hypocalcemia match was text sign guys positive ketone bodies are acetoacetate guys okay now see magdalene vitamin b12 is cobalt guys okay now see dopamine synthesis in brain you you might have remembered in parkinson disease what we do we give for treatment we give levodopa plus carbidopa why guys because it inhibits the peripheral decarboxylation guys okay now see epinephrine ka metabolite ka hoga metanephrine guys okay then see guys what is there vitamin useful in cancer is the vitamin a guys non essential amino acid tyrosine essential we have talked about so i think you can easily find out guys which is non essential guys okay so precursor of steroid is the cholesterol maple syrup urine disease guys already talked about histamine is produced by decarboxylation from what histidine guys that's we have already talked about okay neurotransmitter is glutamine guys and gaba if you think xanthine xanthine uric acid is the metabolism of tryptophan just um, think that you have heard somewhere guys not so important guys okay biotin is essential essential for carboxylation glucose 6 phosphate is deficiency is seen in guys a uh, von gerks disease okay guys now see napds guys not so important the it's produced from hmp pathway guys if you see okay then vitamin k is responsible for the synthesis of prothrombin with the clotting factor guys basically i mean to say pantothenic acid acts on coenzyme this already we discussed guys okay now see white hair means albinism guys that is due to melanin guys okay now guys zinc is a component of alcohol well enzyme carboxypeptide is carbonic anhydrase guys already discussed okay now see guys what happens cytochromes ke andar kya hota iron guys already done okay guys so basically uh, this is about uh, the one liners i think which you can read guys in the pdf it's not like so tough guys okay so try to read in the pdf if you find something significant just uh, add this guys okay so this were very uh, means kafi uh, sare one liners which i which i can find find guys so you can uh, read from the pdf when i send it guys okay see phenyl ketone urea is guys already done guys okay we have ferric chloride we have black blood phenyl alanine we have mousy order phenyl alanine hydroxylase and it was autosomal recessive guys albinism we have already talked about autosomal recessive and there is a defective synthesis so melanin guys okay guys we have already talked about guys and two syndrome p baldism and warden work syndrome guys not so important guys okay now guys we'll be talking about carbohydrate guys okay so carbohydrate what do we have guys we can either have monosaccharide we can have disaccharide we can have oligosaccharide or mono, uh, or polysaccharide monosaccharide matlab one unit disaccharide matlab two unit oligosaccharide matlab three to 10 unit and polysaccharide means more than 10 unit so if we talk about the one unit there are three things glucose fructose and galactose guys okay disaccharide the two things ka combination sucrose lactose maltose isomaltose okay guys oligosaccharide means 3 to 10 unit polysaccharide more than 10 unit guys so all the this uh, sulfate that we talk about hyaluronic acid keratin sulfate dimethyl sulfate heparin they all are heteropolysaccharide homo is starch glycosan cellulose dextrin inulin and chitin okay chitin which is present in the insects guys okay see so basically what we have we have various glyceraldehyde this all things guys this is not so important guys okay and this glucose galactose are hexose sugar guys if you talk about the ketose sugar guys that is fructose guys okay this is this was important guys okay now see guys so basically this is about maltose is made up of two molecules of glucose okay guys then trihalose is present in cockroach guys okay then sucrose is made up of glucose plus fructose guys and lactose made up of glucose plus galactose guys okay so this is important guys okay now see you have a molish test guys that is given by carbohydrate guys okay but uh, there should be a uh, number of carbon should be five or more guys in molish benedict test is given by all the reducing sugar and all monosaccharides are reducing okay guys then you have salvinov test by keto sugar this bad for this not so important guys okay so basically see, this is all the all the thing which, which we talked about two there were two non reducing sugar that were trihalose and sucrose sucrose is glucose and fructose guys okay why because this fructose guys belong to the ketose wala family okay guys see so basically this are the other thing glycosan glycosan is a animal starch everyone knows guys okay see then this starch guys is made up of amylose which is 20% guys unbranched and amylopectin which is 80% branch inulin guys okay this is used for inulin clearance test chitin and acetyl glucosamine present in exoskeleton of insect guys we already talked about now guys see glycosaminoglycan with no uronic acid guys that is keratin sulfate that has no uronic acid 
नो सल्फेट गाइस कोई सल्फेट नहीं है दैट इज हया लोडोनिक एसिड गाइज ओके सी देन कार्टिलेज में क्या होगा थिंक खुद से जो कार्टिलेज में कॉर्न रेटेन हेलोडोनिक सल्फेट कॉर्निया का ट्रांसपेरेंसी कैरेटिन सल्फेट गाइस स्केलेरा का स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज द मैटन सल्फेट गाइज ओके और एंड रिनल ग्लोमर दैट इज अगेन है सल्फेट गाइज ओके एंड एंटीकॉगलेंट इज दैरिन गाइज ओके दैट एवरी वन नोज गाइज ओके दिस सी वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट दिस म्यूकोपोलीसेक्राइड गाइज ओके ऑल म्यूकोपोलीसेक्राइड आर ऑटोजोमल रेसिव एक्सेप्ट आई सेट टू फैब्रीज एंड हंटर सो हंटर विल कम हियर गाइज ओके सी मोस्ट कॉमन इज द सैंड फ्लिपो आई सेट सैंड फ्लिपो सैंड फ्लिपिंग द सैंड इज मोस्ट कॉमन गाइज नो मेंटल इटार्डेशन गाइज दैट इफ इट इज वन का एस वाला फॉर्म गाइज दैट इज लेस सीवियर वाला फॉर्म गाइज एंड फोर वाला दैट इज मॉरिक यू एंड सिक्स वाला दैट इज मैरिटक्स लैमिन डिजीज नो कॉर्नियल क्लाउड आई सेट हंटर कैन नॉट हंट विद द क्लाउडी कॉर्नियर दैट इज दैट इज हंटर एंड सैन फ्लिपो गाइज वी ऑलरेडी टॉक दबर दिस ग्लू ट्रांसपोर्टर्स आर ऑलरेडी डन गाइज ओके नाउ गाइज कमिंग ऑन टू द मेटाबॉलिज्म इन वेल फेड स्टेट एंड गाइज इन स्टार्विंग स्टेट ओके सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज फ्रॉम द मेटाबॉलिज्म वाला एस्पेक्ट वेल फेड एंड द स्टार्विंग स्टेट If we talk about guys, well-fed state thing guys, अच्छा खासा you have at eat and guys okay, well-fed means your stomach is full guys means and now what will uh, you have excess of glucose or so what will insulin try to do? It will try to convert excess glucose to glucagon. So insulin will be high at this amount guys. So when it try to convert guys, uh, so where it can divert the glucose? It can throw it in the glycolysis वाला pathway. So glycolysis then it will go to pyruvate dehydrogenase guys. That is the link reaction. to the TCA cycle guys and where it will produce the ATP or it can convert it into glycogen guys or it can go to to the HMP shunt pathway it can form fatty acids guys okay so see basically this HMP shunt pathway helps in NADPH production which will help in fatty acid synthesis guys okay that will be required for myelination and other thing guys now think about in the fasting state when you are uh, like uh, suppose you have a fast guys okay so what happens your body does not have a glucose so you need to convert it to glucose guys so glucagon will be high guys and insulin will be low guys this is fine so there will be glycosinolysis that is break down of glucose glycogen guys to produce glucose guys okay so after a certain time what the stores that are there will get over guys so you need to have new glucose guys that is gluconeogenesis okay in 16 to 18 hours as glycogen stores get depleted guys to support the gluconeogenesis to form the new glucose guys if it is there in the muscles and rbc guys that is known as a uh, core cycle guys that provides lactate guys okay and this kahil cycle guys this is uh, this is more important guys and this provides alanine guys okay so think about guys fed state when we eat food within 2 hours fasting state in between the meals we are not eating food from 12 to 18 hours after food up to 48 hours starvation jab kafi din se nahi khaya since last 2 to 4 days okay guys uh, now see uh, what happens guys this insulin guys uh, which we talked about insulin when we talked about guys when you were well fed state it activates all the anabolic pathway anabolic pathway we have read guys but exception guys it activates two catabolic pathway i think if you can remember that is glycolysis why because you need energy guys okay and link reaction and the pyruvate dehydrogenase okay next step you need to take forward guys opposite for the fasting state kya hota hai glucagon hormone is released glucagon kya hai catabolic hormone hai guys okay so it causes phosphorylation so we can glucagon activates all catabolic except why glycolysis and link wala guys okay so it's done i think this is all the cyto pathway which we already discussed if we talk about b1 thymine so that was alpha ketoglutate dehydrogenase already discussed this we have already discussed main guys if you remember guys fad we have already discussed that is succinate dehydrogenase guys coenzyme is vitamin b5 pantothenic acid already done guys fluoroacetate guys okay fluorocitrate inhibits the enzyme aconitase fluoroacetate aconitase guys arsenite alpha ketoglutarate malonate mahend singh dhoni if you remember guys all the things are already done guys okay guys if you see see and this are some of the last moment revision things guys that you see i think most of the things are already done if not like we have not done guys so just go uh, just read it once guys i think this will help you revise guys okay so uh, i'll send the pdf guys you can read from it guys i think that would be easy for you to revise guys see there is 21st amino acid which is known as selenol uh, selenocysteine guys i have already talked about this guys okay this chaperones are the misfolded protein guys okay they prevent the fa faulty fo uh, folding of the protein guys okay now see guys 
what is remaining guys see we did not discuss about this guys that is enzyme disorders guys okay see neiman pig disease guys okay neiman pig is in the deficiency in sphingomyelin a taste sac h is hexosaminidase guys okay taste sac a is coming hexosaminidase sand of how i and is coming so you need to add a, a and b guys okay then uh, then farbers farbers is ceramidase okay guys you can remember fuck barber if you see okay that is uh, ceramidase guys fabris that is alpha a is coming alpha galactosidase guys crabase that is beta galactosidase guys remember don't confuse guys this are very easily confused guys crabase comes b b b is more predominant two b's is coming guys okay and gauchers is beta glucosidase guys okay now thing guys okay uh see uh then what do what do we see these are the various chromosomal disorder that we talk see you uh this 11 and 16 alpha and beta gene is present guys okay guys this 15 if you think uh think you have marfan guys albinism prader villi and anzal when my anzal man was a happy puppet wala and prader villi in which papa reason is deleted deleted guys if you remember guys okay then guys see rate limiting enzyme guys i think we have read we'll just see Cholesterol synthesis, HMG CoA reductase, ketone body, HMG synthase. Okay, guys, bile acid, 7 alpha hydroxylase, guys. Okay, so we have already done this enzymes, guys. Okay, so everything is almost done, guys. Okay, so basically, uh, this was all uh, you need to know about. So, this is the PDF I've uh, added by exam, sir. So, this is must revised topic. You can see, guys, we have already almost discovered, uh, discuss everything, guys, which is important for your exam, uh, exam point of aspect, guys okay so basically this is basically a one of the summary table which i tried to mix mix guys you can try uh, yourself guys okay gauchers disease that is due to beta glucose cerebrosidase that is glucose cerebroside fabris guys all that actually except fabris in hunter that is fabris alpha galactosidase ceramide is accumulated hunter uh, what is the X linked recessive guys? Do you remember guys? Hunter and Hunter what the Hunter hides that is guys Idorinate hides guys. Do you see Idorinate sulfatase and DH uh, DS NHS accumulation guys Hardler guys if you remember Hardler was type 1 wala guys Hardler L wala that is L Idorinase Then Krabis that is B that is beta galactosyribrosidase then metachromatic leukodystrophy that is aryl sulfatase A guys. Neiman pick was sphingomyelinase guys and TASAC was hexosaminidase A guys if you remember. That is GM2 ganglioside accumulation guys. Okay. See basically this is the one that is all the rate limiting enzyme you need to match it guys. Okay. Now we'll try to match it guys. Okay. What's it? Cholesterol synthesis guys. Okay. Cholesterol synthesis is HMG CoA reductase. Now coming to purine synthesis guys. If we talk about the purine synthesis guys, where does it match guys? It it matches. Sorry guys. It, sorry. Sorry. It matches guys with the glutamine PRP amidotransferase. If we think about the pyrimidine synthesis that is CPS2. Then where is the CPS1 guys if you think? That is in the urea cycle guys. CPS1 if you talk about guys. Okay. Now fatty acid oxidation. Remember guys what was the for fatty acid oxidation? That was carnitile acetyl transferase guys. Okay. Do you remember guys? That was carnitile fatty acid oxidation guys. That is CAT1 guys. Okay. No fatty acid cup synthesis karna guys that will be guys acetyl coa carboxylase guys now guys coming on to the glyco uh, glycogenesis matlab glycogen ka formation we are doing so it will be glycogen synthesis kyunki apan formation kar rahe now coming on to the glycolysis remember guys glycolysis remember phosphofructokinase that is pfk1 gluconeogenesis guys that is guys gluconeogenesis what will come guys that is Fructose 1, 6, bisphosphatase guys, okay. Now, glycogenolysis guys, okay. Glycogenolysis, matlab you are breaking down the glycogen guys, okay. So, there will be glycogen phosphorylase guys. HMP shunt guys, remember what is there in the HMP shunt guys? That is guys, it's glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase guys, okay. Then guys, similarly you can match it guys, okay. So, basically this was about matching, matching with it guys, okay. So, I think, uh, hope this helps you simplify biochemistry and revise. I'll upload the PDF guys, revise the one-liners which are there guys. I think I have tried to simplify, I had tried to make all possible mnemonics that I could guys. The, I tried it to the best of my ability. I think hope this help, helps you guys. If you find it useful guys, please like, share, comment and subscribe guys. 
एंड डू सजेस्ट विच टॉपिक यू नीड द नेक्स्ट गाइज 